Friends and family of the last survivor of the Halifax explosion gathered in that city today for her funeral. Mary Murphy passed away this week at the age of 98. She was just two years old on December 6, 1917, when two ships collided in Halifax Harbor, one of them filled with munitions. Her family says despite her young age at the time, that disaster defined her life. Ross Lord reports. Mary Murphy was a career public servant and a volunteer with a strong sense of community, an identity forged by the tragedy that destroyed her own community, the Halifax explosion. We lost all different relatives, uncles and aunts and, you know, cousins like that because they used to live up further north than we did. Pulled out of the ruins of her home after the collision between two ships in Halifax Harbour that killed more than 2,000 people and injured an estimated 9,000 others. Her nephew says Mary shared values common to other survivors and those who lived through the Great Depression that followed, a disdain for the frivolous. It shaped Mary's life in that she was always a very determined person. She was someone who was very no-nonsense, but she was a very good listener. She, she used those as talents when she worked in government for 48 years. With a sparkling wit, Mary referred to herself as an unclaimed treasure because she never wed. But Mary was always bright. And even when I saw her in hospital, you know, she sat, we held hands, and she said, oh, yes, remember the explosion parties we used to have? She was among the very few remaining survivors. Her death means all three survivors who attended last year's 95th anniversary ceremonies have passed away. With first-hand accounts like hers all but gone, organizers hope a surge in interest in recent years has made younger generations more aware of the explosion, so it won't be forgotten. Ross Lohr, Global News. Halifax.